He should have been buying us a blender. He should have been buying us a blender. On the last private phone call I had with Scarlett Archibald, he revealed his motive for rationalizing Meals on Wheels' suicide nutrition director, Chris Duffy's sexual attack on me. Skylar made a comment about relationship. I said, it's not a relationship, it's a sexual assault. He then repeated the term sexual assault. I then said, I'm in a relationship with my partner, my boyfriend, who I love very much. Chris Duffy knew that. He should have been congratulatory on that thankful for that and should have been wishing me well to have a happy life and here's a blender we have better friends now for instance friends of george george who's giving us a crock pot to wish us well on our happy romance good guys don't try to steal your girlfriend in front of your face or behind your back it's the ultimate law of the jungle they should wish you well on your way and hopefully buy you a blender or crockpot. Even if Seaside Park director is framing his employees' sexual attack on me as a relationship in quotes were true, there's never any excuse for male and female violence, whether from an actual partner or in any context, much less a stranger who is soliciting work opportunities quid pro quo basis for sexual harassment or assault. This is the same phone call in which I got Skylar Archibald to repeat the words white male privilege and acknowledge his blind spots. I felt so disturbed by the phone call, so heartsick and nauseated that I began calling the Special Districts Association of Oregon, dialing tree trying to pitch a sexual harassment training for Seaside's Park District. This is what agitated attorney Spencer Rockwell into calling me for his infamous shout a which was so abusive I felt the need to record it and put it on YouTube. A little more research indicated that Spencer Rockwell, when he is not shouting at victims of sexual harassment and assault, also trains on sexual harassment compliance law directives in special seminars around Oregon. Skylar Archibald was on an OSHA training last September or August when I was getting frustrated with the quality of the discourse enough to start asking to speak to the park district attorneys. Due to the OSHA training going on Thursday and Friday, I made several cold calls to reception asking to speak to the lawyer responsible for handling Meals on Wheels Nutrition Director Chris Duffy's sexual assault. It was a good way to get information into the Whisper Network so the female employees can protect themselves. Skyler then lectured me about not causing distress to his employees. And could I just keep this between him and me? I explained that siloing the info would be a part of a cover-up and I found that unethical. And that employees have a right to be safe. Really, Skyler Archibald needs to take responsibility for his employees' distress as he is the one who is enabling and protecting and conducting a shush campaign about Duffy's harassment and assault. When Jim Jordan's sexual abuse cover-up scandal broke, I thought, there, see that? You can't just protect abuse and expose more people to assault or unequal access, endangerment. So anyway, Chris Duffy should have been buying George and I a blender, not trying to insult him, hit on me, frighten me, and then assault me, and most cruelly, trying to conflate my fear and paralysis and shock and semi-tolerance for his idiocy as consent. When what I am complaining of are very specific instances of inappropriate sexual and STD propositioning, groping, my hand swatting away his gropes, the abusive power dynamic, the unequal size dynamic of a large man trapping a woman in her own apartment and making her feel unsafe to call 911. As she runs through piles of invasive personal reasons he should back off. And his forceful four-point pin down hold of me to punish me for refusing his advances and inflict psychological distress that he would rape, or actually he was contemplating rape as he rubbed himself on me against my will and straining to break free. There is no context in which that behavior is acceptable, Skylar Archibald. Rape is not even acceptable in a relationship as you described your workers' unwanted attention to me. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. Brush up on that, Duffy. I have piles of guy friends, plenty of whom do not assault me. I'm not sexist, and I do not profile Duffy. 
and I did not profile Duffy for a sex pest. That is my fault, I am told. I gave him a chance to be a decent human being and explain himself. I get the feeling he was only attacking me to catastrophically hurt his ex-girlfriend Kim Hazel anyway. And to punish and hurt George. I don't like being used to hurt other women. Women have so much more solidarity than that. 